You will have to forgive me for the noise. It is raining. It was raining pretty hard last night. It's uh, You can see the sun's out, so why is it raining? That's just how it is here in Oklahoma. But that's okay. Now, this is Saturday. I told you I'd show you what I'm going to do on Saturday to make the best use of my time. And it's not this, because this is done. You can see Thursday I added the, some more screws just to strengthen things up. Now, look here. I can build the walls because I have the skin. Can you see the skin there? Let me see. It's hiding behind that Luan right there. I just have to put it back together is all. So, it looks different, doesn't it? Something is different than what we usually do. Number one, we're using a much stouter excuse me, a much stouter plywood. But in between that plywood, you can see Luan, two pieces. The, both the good faces. Don't you love my camera work? Glad you stopped by. But anyway, both of the good sides facing in. That means when I cut one out using the skin and you set it up, it's facing inside. And then the one that's under here set up, it's facing inside. Welcome to Puppet Theater. My name is Rob the Puppet. So I got to finish this part because I just kind of wanted to show you what I was doing as I did it. Some really nice grain. We're doing this is getting cut out. Don't worry about that. We've got another stack of really nice Luan because this is going to be amber shellac. So when I went to the big box store. I kind of went through it and found eight matching pieces. I got to get six more for the roof, but uh, or the ceiling, the ceiling. Uh, but this is going to look real nice on the walls. What little bit you'll get to see, but it's going to look great. It's going to match the ceiling real nice. So, like I said, we're just building a sandwich here. So, that's the, uh, not the door side. We're working on, I'm on the door side here on top. So, put that together, kind of get it close. Now, this sucker's heavy. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. So, oh boy, shop inspector's not much help on heavy lifting. He's more of an intellectual, you know. So I get these here, and I've got to really square them up. I've always got room, you know, for trim, and try to make things look nice with the trim, but I also want to get as close as I possibly can before I even get to the trim stage because I think it makes a difference. It does make a difference. It certainly makes a difference to me and the customer. Anyway, you don't have to watch me sit here and do the tedious part, but this is how it's going to go. I do have something I made yesterday. You might have seen it in the background. I'm going to show it to you just so that you know I'm serious about these next 36 hours of work. Here is the big list. This was what uh, my big talking led me to in the last episode on Thursday, this being Friday. It'll be a few days in between because Russ has to get back from uh, vacation and edit this. So anyway, tomorrow I'm meeting with the customer. So that doesn't count for Friday. Build walls, build walls. This is my first time building these this way. I don't really want to make an estimation uh, because there's more to it, but I'm going to say two to two and a half hours maybe. Then we've also got rebuild windows, polish the sink, 
That's not a Polish sink, like a Polish sausage, which would be great for lunch. Build rafter ceiling. I always put the E before, or the I before the E, and it shouldn't be that way. So I, I, I just let you know. I need to go back to spelling class. I want to rehab the reflectors, rehab the side markers, rebuild the door, rework the baggage. I said reword the bag. Well, I don't know. I can't blame it on the heat because it's seven o'clock in the morning. Then hopefully pick up the trailer from the welder. It's a pretty big list. And I've got 36 work hours to do it. But right now, instead of wasting time, let's build these walls. We are set up to trace. This is the door side. I was mistaken. We're going to do the door side. Uh, got a problem right here. When I took this, whatever this kind of tape is, it it's a mess. Uh, it, it got dinged pretty hard and ripped. So I'm just going to real quickly kind of cut this out right here where it's going to cause us a little bit of trouble. I'll just get the old tin, tin snips out. Maybe even go up this way a touch. Maybe. Now, the good thing about campers is generally on the edges, they are symmetrical. Symmetrical. So, I've got to check my measurement on my door. I know where it's supposed to be. And it's supposed to be at about 21 and a quarter. I just want to make sure when I was getting a little funky there. Yeah, it's way off now. So I've got to come in about right there is where I want to be. I'm going to check up here at the top. And we are still at 21 and a quarter. I just don't want to trace something out, cut something out, and then it is just flat wrong. So, okay, let's pull this down to recreate what this would have been. About right. Oh, boy, we're, we're having all kinds of trouble. Guard dog. There we go. And again, let's check over here. Curly, that's enough, son. Go to the touch right there. Curly, enough. All right, so let's get this put in to place. It's gonna be somewhere about right there. Bring this down a touch. There, now we've got our edge right there. So I should be able to build this edge, and it does, it picks up right here where that one left off. And really, that's the only part I needed this piece of. So, just I'm gonna, all I'm going to do real quickly is check my measurements. We're right on. I need to get a clamp on that. Pull this clamp back over here. Just trying to keep everything copacetic. And now I can go ahead and just trace all the way around. You know, sometimes I wish I had a double time button, but uh, guess what? I don't, only Russ has that. So that's what you're gonna watch. And just like that, I've got that in. Now, the real secret is I have got to make myself a one inch block. And then that one inch block, I'll set it after I pull this on this outside line. And then I'll trace inside an inch because remember our top rail. Our top rail is three quarters because our rafters are three quarters. We could build it up to one inch if we wanted to. There's no, it's not necessary. So that extra quarter of an inch it gives me a little room to work, a little room to work. And I'm thinking because this is so good, this, uh, this skin shape wise, we're not going to reuse it, but 
I can put it back together and then just trace out my skin when I get it. That might save me some time, save me some heartache. We'll see when we get there. I wanted you to see kind of what it looks like. We try to keep it close to an inch apart, not less than an inch. Got a little wonky there, but I'll clean that up when I go to uh, saw it, jigsaw, a little, little wide there. But I can see that as I'm going. That's not easy to do. You would think it is, but it's not. Not for me anyway. So here's where we are. I'm going to get the jigsaw out and I'm going to try to cut through all four layers, taking my time. And, uh, and that'll be that. these together so that I have operable walls. Let me add that I've never done this before. It's just an idea I have in my head. I'm sure probably other people have done it. Let's see. If you don't see this, I messed it up. Had to go buy $500 worth of new lumber. Let's see. Gonna have to get rid of, get this sawdust out of the way. See, I was telling you, that's good looking. Luan right there. Kinda exciting to know that it's gonna be on this trailer. Remember, this is a super rare 1953 La Cabana. There we go. So we're gonna have to do lots of gluing. Maybe I'll shut up and Russell double time the gluing. All right, I think that's good. Now, we just gotta get this fella right over here where it belongs. And at this point, I'm just going to tack it with, with a staple, just a little one. Just to keep everything honest, because it's already been cut, it already fits. Just to keep it from moving around, keep it from getting wild. And I know all these seams, either something's gonna cover these seams, or, or there is going to be trim on it. So we'll just kinda go around the outside real quick. And I think we're good right there. Now, without getting any glue on anything, I slipped this fella over right here. And now, we'll glue this fella up right here. Again, I'll shut up so there's a double time involved. Kicked me out of art school. They said I didn't have any talent. Beg to differ. I kind of like that. Okay. Now we gotta flop this fella right on top of this fella. Whoa, easy there. Hey, that wasn't bad. Bad little move right there. And we're not far off. So I'm gonna tack this one down 
real good right here. I'm gonna run around over here. Tack that big dog in. You got one right there. Thank you. I don't think this many is probably necessary because we're gonna stack them. But you know, it's not gonna hurt anything. Really, the uh, trim will cover this that we make on the inside. And then uh, when we go to put on our molding right here, our gimp or whatever we're calling it these days, that's going to cover up that whole part. So then let's just go ahead and set this one on this one. And this is why we stapled it. Now it really can't move, but this is heavy. This, this uh, construction plywood, it's heavy, and it's gonna hold itself in place there. I don't need to clamp it or anything. I'm gonna do that two more times, and looking at the clock on the wall, it is exactly two hours since I started. What did I tell you early, two, two and a half? So, I would definitely hit that two and a half, and then we'll have to go to the big board and uh, see what I'm supposed to do next. So far, Friday. <sighs> I've got the walls stacked up on top of each other, put a few weights on them, and just to be safe. I want to get that glue on there real nice so that when I finish that with that amber shellac, may go more than one coat. I don't know on this deal. We'll see how it goes. Because uh, tomorrow, we're talking with the customer. She'll let me know exactly what she wants. She has sent me a lot of things in the mail and via email. So she's going to get what she wants. So, um, let's see. We're just, this is just starting our Friday uh, list because yesterday... We already built the trailer floor, but we didn't, we didn't mark that down. But we're starting today on Friday. So, um, build the walls. The walls are done. And at the actual time, 2.5 hours. 2.5. So that's pretty close again. Not, not too far off. You know, when you give yourself <laughs> an hour, half an hour to an hour, either way, it's probably it makes you look like a magician. But really, I mean, he just doubles your time. <sighs> but anyway, I like guessing and see where I end up. Um, so I've got plenty of time to start something else. I think I'm going to want to wait to build the rafters and the ceiling. Um, I wouldn't mind polishing the sink or at least pulling the sink out and polishing it and just to see if we can use it. Cause if not, we're gonna have to order another one. So that'd be good. We can check. I think, you know, I think that's where we're going next. Um, then maybe after that, I might rebuild the door. Maybe. I like, I like rebuilding the door. As you can see, I'm staying away from building the windows. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And it's very tedious. And you have to be careful because it's glass. You don't want to break the glass. Um, but I still have a few hours to kill here. So, um, let's just jump on that sink. See how I feel. That'll take me to lunchtime. Maybe I'll go have a chicken sandwich or something. I don't know. And then when I, I might feel differently. Maybe I'll be energized. And I'll be like, I am going to tear into those windows. Said nobody ever. All right. Enough talking about the big board. Let's get to work on the big board. Well, I'd say that cleaned up real nice. Definitely going to reuse this. So, let's go to the big board. Big board will work on this Friday. We polished... Uh, the sink. 
And the time. Took about a half hour. By the time I set up and everything, that wasn't just the actual work, but set up because it didn't take very long. It was in very good shape. I had to dismantle it, take it off of the uh, countertop, things like that. But the polishing itself did not take very long. So our Polish sink is in great shape. Now, I got to see where I want to go. I really do. Um... Build rafters and ceiling, that's off. That's in the future. Rehab reflectors, I don't know if I want to do any more small, tedious work. I like the big work, you know, the carpentry and the, you build something and it's there. I like that. Although this is very satisfying, uh, the reflectors when you're done with them because they look new, you know, and they look terrible now. But, but, I think I'm going to rebuild the door. I think I'm going to rebuild the door. I'm going to actually right now, I'm going to go get a chicken sandwich and think about it. I'm going to take the uh, shop inspector with me. That way I can write it off on my taxes. We're going to talk about the big board. So I've said this on video, so it's true and it is a tax write off. Not really, but I am taking Curly with me because he's a good boy. All right. Let me eat. Let me get back to the big board and, uh, We'll see what I do. Well, we're back from the chicken sandwich. Curly had a couple bites. He's a good boy. Let's see what we're working with here on this door. It's only like 21 inches wide. Looks like it's held together by some uh, nails is all. We have got to source new door handle and knob. That's not classy enough for this rare camper. Love how this door is. Our door. This window is. It's like the king. I really, really like it. Um, the hinge is in perfect condition. The hinge is for the screen door. Need a little attention, but they're just fine. We sent the screen door home, which was, in its day, was beautiful, but it's worse for the wear. So Chris Abbey, we sent it home with Chris Abbey. He does all our screen doors and, and all of our rock guards. So he's going to make us one real super similar to it. And it's going to be beautiful, and I can't wait to get it back. It's I just I love his work. Then uh, down here, the really the the bad part is right there. I've got some metal from uh, Max Aluminum that will fix this whole spot right here. Uh, let's sort of peek under the skirt here. Ew! Oh, boy! Look at there. It is just like the King. And they, looks like they used a whole piece of plywood. So we're going to see if that's three quarter or half inch. I'll bet it's three quarter. Or if they use more than one. And uh, we'll replace all of that and make it nice and neat and new. There's nothing like a, a brand new heavy door shutting on a camper. Makes you feel good. Well, I'm going to get to work on it. It's still Friday. I want you to know what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep track of my hours. I think what was my guess? Two, two and a half, something like that. All right, clock's on. I have got it torn down and I was mistaken on one thing. What is good is I have a great pattern right here. It's not mangled up except up at the door, but still it's not bad. It, it, I'm not sure I'm gonna use this though. I'm gonna use it for a template, but I'm not so sure that I might not be very careful when I cut the skin because we're getting new skin. And uh, if I'm very careful, I'll use it for this. So we'll see though. So the area that I was wrong, as you can see, is there was a very thin piece of plywood there. Otherwise it was built up, stick built. Doesn't mean I can't use a big piece of plywood. If I have enough laying around that's one size, I will do that. Um, 
because really the only thing that's going to penetrate is the window and the well now that does kind of but i can cut that out and frame it in even on the plywood i just don't know what i'm going to use for a knob on this deal i've got to find something oh, something that looks good so hey you want to see something cool look at this i conquered space mountain disneyland and look at that space mountain There's no telling how old that is so somebody went to maybe they went to disneyland in this camper camper would have had to been pretty old back by then i mean i think they opened in what 76 or something like that 70 or at least mid 70s i think they opened up but i think that's pretty cool either way so we're going to recreate this um i'm going to check for plywood first if i don't have plywood of the proper thickness i rebuild it uh past the original specifications then uh, we're gonna wait and see on the door i've got the side piece right there well there's three of them right there actually that need to be cleaned up and the window pieces here's all the window pieces little kind of porthole window except it's not round glass is in great shape you can see it's kind of got like a, a webbing inside so i'm gonna get to cleaning that up and then i'm gonna get to building and we'll see what my time looks like. Yeah, hey, there's what I was working with. Here's what we're working with now. Wanted to give you just a quick update. One super cool thing I'm gonna do is, and you remember that handle was just trash. I've got this barg, man. I got from our friend Kathy up in Kansas when we were up picking that time. And uh, she did me right on it. So, I'm going to use it. Going to use it on this deal because this, this camper is just way too sweet, old, rare, classy to put something less than a bargain on it. That's where I'm at. You want to know where else I'm at? I'm at two hours. So, uh, I'm not going to hurry because I got to do this right. But uh, I've got that piece of Luan right there. I'm going to put on here router it out see how i feel about it so here i go checking in with you i have got the door wood parts built uh i'm letting the glue dry because i kind of had to make a little jig here because when i cut that wood it wanted to bend out so there's a couple screws here then there's some screws on the inside here and on the inside here just holding it it's not screwed into the door at all just to make this square and it is square rectangular square and uh now what i didn't do because i i can't take these off until the glue's dry and it really needs to dry overnight is i didn't get any of the hardware put back on i did cut out for the bargman we are going with the bargman and i just need to clean up the hardware i've got probably i don't know one two three four and then the window holder and placers and then just you know that which is probably another hour's worth of work maybe another half hour to install so i was way off and I apologize. I, I, yeah, I, I big dogged you on that, didn't I? Ah, oh, two, two and a half hours. I'm 245 deep in it right now. Two hours and 45 minutes. This is probably going to be a four hour job. So, uh, hey, we live and we learn, right? So let's go over here to the big board. Tomorrow morning or afternoon, I'm going to meet with the customer. So I'm going to try real hard to have that done just to kind of show off to her a little bit. Say, hey, check this out, you know. So, um, let's see, rebuild door. Hopefully we'll mark that off on Saturday. This is Friday. Um, I think in the morning, 
we'll finish the door. We got some other decisions we have to make. And then while I'm waiting for her to get here, I think we'll rework the baggage door. That will not take long. And then I'm just gonna dive into it. I think I'm gonna dive into the windows and just get started. Just suck it up, buttercup, and let's do it. So that's where we're at. We put in, oh, I don't know, I think we've got six hours of actual work time. Now I was doing some other things that I did have to do while I was waiting for this stuff to dry or to be ready. So got eight hours of work in, but I've only got about six hours on this particular camper. So there's your Friday and a couple more days. I'll have Saturday for you.